Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, Stephen Pope, and this is the anime-inspired role-playing game powered by... Let me get the stuff off it. It's been a minute. The Overarm System, available now at drivethroughrpg.com. Ding! Thank you. We have an amazing show for you tonight. We are picking up right where we left off in Season 2. I will be giving a recap. Don't worry about that. But let's meet our table. Starting off, he's on a homoerotic uh, road trip to uh, Egypt to kill a vampire. It's Critical Bard. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, have, my name is Omega just Jones. Said, just said road trip. Right? Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just on the road again. Uh, hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bard. Critical part across all social media channels, and I am uh, your your favorite Spider Boy, Kwame Akinyemi, uh, with the divinity of Anansi, the West African trickster god and king of all stories. That's me. That's you. Next up, they're working inside a mansion filled with venom symbiotes, wearing the cutest gothic Lolita fashion. It's mostly Eric. Oh, hello, everyone. Hi. I, I'm Eric, and I will be reprising my role as Lennox Thatcher, uh, rich former quarterback, n- drunk. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> He's going through some stuff. He's growing. He's changing. He's learning things about himself. No, no one pressure the poor boy. And last but certainly not least, they are. They are traveling through time loops, trying to make sure they can save the woman they love. It's Aki. Oh, goodness. Um, okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm I'm Aki, uh, and I am playing Emancipation Brown, otherwise known as Manny, um, who is, uh, whose divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Uh, they're a pal. They're a friend. You know, they just want to make sure everybody makes it through prom happy. Yeah, good luck on that one. So, uh, you might notice a few things different now. First of all, we are now proudly sponsored by Roll20. Yes, the virtual tabletop system that you can use right now sponsoring this show and we love them for it they do have overarms available on that site so go check it out it's great next up uh in case you don't know it's pride Woo! all gays roll with advantage well when i say gays i do mean everyone (laughs) queer okay all queers roll with advantage Whoa! <laughs> uh, and we're doing a giveaway today with our friends at Die Hard Dice. Yes, you thwarped. Oh, I love I good thwarp. thwarp. Uh, I, 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 I. Let's see if I can do it at the same time. Can I do it at the same time? Oh, double thwarp. Do maybe, doing a double maybe. Finish it. Yes! yes. And that is pride. Now you can <laughs> enter the raffle by following the channel and in our chat. Enter. Enter uh, exclamation point raffle. Pick a number between one to ten. You can buy up to ten tickets. Subs get a bonus. Thirty tickets. It's really great. We want to send a lot of thanks over to our friends at Die Hard Dice. They've been supporting us since the show began. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm getting a note from my producer. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. We are aiming to get uh, 500 new backers for the Exploration Society. Uh, we're aiming for that. We know it's big. We know, uh, oh. Nope, it's okay. Everything's kosher. Okay, as long as everything's kosher. Thank you, Aki. Uh, it's a crucial step, making our content on the air, keeping it on the air, making sure we give you what we can do, and keeping everything afloat here. Uh, but don't worry. There's stuff in it for you, I promise. You get special pins, bags, uh, merch of all sorts, and one-page adventures starring us in various capacities. It's very silly. It's very fun. Be a part of society. Join up today. Uh, now... We are, we're also aiming to raise $250 in episodes or 15 new subs or Patreon pledges if you want to join the society. Uh, that really allows us to pay our amazing cast. I mean, look at them. Look at these beautiful faces. 
don't you want them to afford guacamole on their Chipotle? They this is a oh what man. Do. If I could get if I could upgrade to some guac, oh that that would be a big deal for That's me. How you that know you that'd it. be a life changer for me. Never forget that art deserves to be properly patronized. It really does. Uh, even if you can't afford to back us, uh, spread the word, share the stream. Uh, and if you're watching us on YouTube, hey, share the video, D download it, Just plaster it on your school. I don't know. I don't know what kids do these days. But yeah, uh, we're aiming for 250. Hey, make us a meme. Go, make us a meme. Go, hey, go. Yeah, go. Why do one of those Italian? memes. Make, make, us Italian, a, Eric? make us one of those CB memes. CB left me here with you two, and I don't know what. Look! Look at what! Look at my situation, y'all. Give it. Tip us just. I feel? I'm Italian tip, now. Tip, tip, tip me yes. at least for having tip to deal Aki. with this. Tip Aki, they Please. deserve it. But hey, uh, for fifteen dollars, five hundred bits, or five gift subs, uh, you you'll get a message out here. You'll get a toast. It will be lovely. I promise. Just keep it kosher, y'all. All right. So. With all that out of the way, let's recap what happened in season two of New Pantheon Academia. After the, defeating the uh, Phantom Queen and realizing she was actually a corrupted divinity herself, the four of you, well, currently two of you, I'm sure CB is, CB's here in spirit, and as is Mika, uh, were confronted with a new enemy who seemed to have taken control of the door to oblivion. The door that all divinity might come from? You're not entirely sure, but uh, the White King wanted to play a game. And as such, he sent his new, improved, and much more deadly crows after all of you. Uh, while you're planning prom, and while I say you're planning prom, I mean Aki and Manny. Manny was planning prom. Seriously, Manny, the school will fall apart without you. How do you do it? I mean, I just hope people realize their best possible ideas. That's all. I am here to help facilitate everyone's wildest hopes and dreams. And what dreams may come as it was a raucous... Uh, quarter, just trying to make sure no one died, everyone got the prom, and that the two crowns that would determine the Black King and the Black Queen, the two pieces that were going to more or less be responsible for destroying the White King, were chosen. After uh, Kwame and Dahlia were, were crowned prom royalty, because uh, Manny threw away the idea of gendered prom royalty, and we're, we're all about that here. Uh, you guys had your final fight with the White King, another corrupted divinity, originally the Dagda. It was a deadly fight that forced all of you to a new level of power. And some of you almost died. Yeah. Bad. But it's okay, because you made it. You defeated the White King, and you were shunted back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Uh, something about mom spaghetti. And you are back at prom. As is the door to oblivion. And everyone can see it. Which is not something that used to happen. And that is where we are picking up this season. Lenny. How are you feeling physically? Because you almost died during that fight. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I was I was basically just punched into the ground and <laughs> nearly destroyed. Uh so yeah, my my suit's a little uh it's a little it's you know, it it was a little like unbuttoned, but now it's like like fully like like kind of like missing some buttons uh and you know Maybe like some sleeveless Larry the Gate Cable Guy action going on, not by choice. Um, so he's he's kind of like, uh, yeah, prom, woo. Are you are you okay, Lenny? I'm I'm like really not. I'm like okay, really not. 
you should you should find some place to 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 maybe hide or 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 or, or something because I don't know if you can tell what's going on here, but this is real bad. Yeah. It's at that point, Kim Winters, uh, another divinity user who also had a bad case of the deads. I, I made a little pit crew of her. <laughs> so cute. Uh, rushes to your side. She's wearing uh, a fitted tuxedo. Uh, her makeup's a little smeared. <laughs> Hi. 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 You should get everybody out of the, 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 the... can you, can you help with us? With that, I, people are scared of you. If you yell at them enough, they'll probably just run away. Okay, people are not scared of me. Uh, just, Do I see any of my old football player friends at prom? Uh, go ahead and roll me intelligence. Real right. quick. We're just looking for a two. All right, let's see. What do we got? Uh, I rolled exactly a two. So oh, perfect. That's good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Lenny sees. Uh... Yeah, you see Brendan Shock along with uh, several of the other football team uh, members. Uh, you know, hanging out. So to to recap, we're in the middle of prom. Everything's back to normal except the door of Oblivion's there, and we're all beat up. Uh, I look across the room. I see Brennan, and and I go, "Yo, Brennan." Uh, Code Alpha, which is he knows is a f pull the fire alarm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need a charisma roll from Lenny because you are no longer part of that team. Uh, however, you and Brendan have an interesting relationship, so go. we're just looking for a three. Okay, well, uh, let's roll that D4, see what we... We got a four on that one. There's a moment where Brendan looks like he's not going to, but then he notices how kind of messed up you are. And he gives kind of a curt nod. And before you all know it, the music is cut out. Uh, the room is blaring with an alarm. Uh, Kwame, you also almost died during the fight with the White King. How are you feeling? Um, satisfied for the moment, uh, in the sense that we got out, um, it was tough. Um, I'm hurting. I'm in a lot of pain, actually. Uh, but I'm here. So that's that. All right. Um, Kim heads over to Kwame, helps him up as well. Uh, Christ, you, uh, well, it's good to see me with only four limbs this time. Uh, yeah, that's, that is something that's still new. Well, who knows? I might, um, <clears throat> I might be able to change that at some point, but not today. I am, I'd rather just get through this and, uh, be done. Yeah. Um, as you are talk. oh, uh, thank you, Vien Vintar, for the raid. Very much appreciate it. Uh, while you're talking to Kim, you feel an arm around your waist as someone doesn't heft you up so much as sort of supports you, and it is Spiro. Okay, I don't know what exactly happened. You look like shit. I think, I think we need to try and get the rest of the students out of here. We don't have time to talk about how we look. Yeah, no. Um... Thankfully, with the alarm blaring, uh, many students are leaving. Some of them are kind of like poking the door or knocking on it, confused. What? Mm -mm. But, uh, you know, fire alarm. You get out of the building. It doesn't take long before everyone is out on the quad uh, in the center of North Point Academy in the middle of the night. The beautiful building surrounding it sit empty and quiet in the dark. What do the three of you do? Well, first I check to make sure that Dahlia is okay. Um, Dahlia seems uh, in pretty good spirits. She still has her crown uh, and she tells you she's going to help kind of escort people away from the premises. So she's going to be busy with that. 
and not because Mika's not here today. Well, I uh, Mary's like, as as Mika is telling them this, they're like nodding. Is like, if there's anybody here who has the ability to to help them feel better, I know it's you. Uh, just be careful. Should I try a Should I try a Dahlia voice? You can if you want to. Nobody's there's no no one. <clears throat> you're 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 the well, baby right. Master. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna lead everyone out of here with. I can't do this. I'm so bad at this. Oh, you were doing fine, Steven. <laughs> Didn't have to bail. You were doing just fine. Nope. Pulling that ripcord. Oh, man. Nope. 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 Nobody nope. With a reference to something that was popular in the aughts on Broadway, uh, next to normal, we'll say. She begins herding students away from the building. Okay, we have to figure out how to get rid of that door or something. How did... Ma, how did this even happen? Um, you know what? I, I think this... Go ahead and make a junction for me. Go ahead and give me an uh, intelligence and power roll. Intelligence to D6. And we're going to be looking for a 14 on this one. It's a big one. Jeez, okay. I mean, I'm glad I have two big dice. Haha, <laughs> 10. Nope. No, 9. Hmm. Ma'at takes form next to you. Uh, golden energy with large wings. Uh, and... Manny, I don't know what happened. You killed the doctor, what was left of him, and that happened. We we can't just leave it here. We have to figure out a way to move it or hide it. If any of the other students mess with it, we don't know what's going to happen. I don't... I don't like being this person, but I think we got to talk to a teacher about this. I mean, we should definitely find Dr. Ash. I don't think you're wrong. Well, you know where, you know, Dr. Ash's office, uh, it's in the clock tower at the North point of the campus. Listen, y'all, I got rolled 20 and I've been having a lot of fun with the pages and just like a little, reference images i'm having a ball with this i think at least one of us should probably stay here with the door just in case something weird happens do do you two want to go to dr ash <sighs> i mean uh, you're so, both really good at talking and he's oh, definitely going to listen to you really really quickly the door of oblivion just in the middle have we we have not ever closed the door on our own, have we? Or have we? Dahlia helped uh, Loki and Orpheus open it at the end of season one. Uh, and that's where uh, Lenny saw something on the other side. That's pretty scary. But we also saw Door of Oblivion behind the stage in the, in the auditorium during the haunted house thing, didn't we? You did. No one else could see it back then, though. That's also true. Okay, yeah, yeah. We need to go talk to um, Dr. Ash. Um, yeah, Kwame says, I do not mind going. Um, the quicker we are about this, the better. Uh, I I'll, don't know I if think... that's a good idea. You're in... Uh, you should be in traction at this point, friend. We all look and feel terrible, Spiro. We know it. We've got it. We've We have internalized it and externalized it by way of our bloodied, bruised bodies. But we still have a job to do, and that is to keep this school safe. So unless you can do something about the way we look right now, maybe you should just stay here with me in the door and make sure nobody messes with it. Also, like, uh, okay. when Kasi says uh, she has some stuff to help us feel better. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of things that'll make you feel better. I don't think I want whatever Ninkasa considers medicine. 
It's better than water. I'm not old enough to drink whatever it is you're selling, lady. Well, it's it's funny you mentioned that because like she she was telling me a lot uh, in 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 older cultures, you know, they couldn't trust the water because of uh, you know pathogens and stuff like that. And so like beer was actually pretty common for everyone to drink because it was like the only water that they ever really boiled. So it's like it's probably like honestly like the safest. I'm helping you pass I, anthropology. Pretty sure that the beer they used to drink back then is very different from the beer that we drink now. Oh yeah. Anyway. Someone has to go, and someone needs to watch this. I do not mind being either or. I will stay and watch. Besides, I have to start kicking down the uh, the, the the decorations anyway. Might as well get a head start. I still have my crown on. You can keep it. It's yours. You 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 want it, and it doesn't look like the magic is happening on it anymore. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah. I mean, it's still, it still it still looks magical enough on you, but it's not doing like the weird glowing thing anymore, right? It is not. Yeah, just a very nice crown on a very nice boy. All right, let's go. All right. So it sounds like Lenny and Kwame are going to head over to Doctor Ash, while Manny, Spiro, and uh, Kim are going to watch the door. They are also going to help me start taking down the decorations. Prom is officially over. We might as well get started. I mean, technically prom wasn't supposed to end for another three hours, but... Uh, it's over. It's over. You've decided this. I mean, it it could take at least three hours for us to even figure out what to do with this door. Prom is over. There's an after party happening at... And I just shout out one of the random dorms. <laughs> It's happening at Rio Grande. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like as Lenny's like leaning, it's like, oh, on their head. after party at Rio Grande? Dang. <laughs> You're an RA. You shouldn't be partying. You think like like if we finish this early, like we can stop by there? I don't know. Maybe. It doesn't take Let long. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. no. Go ahead. All right, I was just going to narrate. It doesn't take long for Lenny and Kwame to get to the school clock tower and ride the elevator up to Dr. Ash's office. Inside, you see the man graying at the temples. Uh, he looks tired. He's reading an older book, uh, and he he's joined by someone. And... A woman of East Asian descent who looks rather stern. Uh, Kwame, you know her as Dr. Wang. Yeah. Um, hello. Oh, uh, Kwame, Lenny, uh, what are the two of you doing here? He says as he stands up. Uh, well, like, um, the, the, like, heckin' door to oblivion opened, and, like, the king and white showed up, and then, like, uh... He punched me like real hard. Uh, yeah, we are not feeling the best right now. He <clears throat> he's dead, but like, like the door is still there, and like, I think everyone can see it now. So that's like, probably not good. Yeah, we need to go back and figure that out. I want both of you to roll me uh, intelligence. I'm looking for an eight. Hmm. Let's see how well a five will a five do it. No. Oh God, that is cocked. Uh, oh, uh, that's actually nine. Okay, uh, Kwame, Lenny, you don't really pick up on it. You notice uh, surrogate dad looks concerned, and that's what matters. I need to impress him. Yes, <laughs> Kwame, you notice the look of concern on Doctor Ash's face. Doctor Wang, on the other hand. She looks more interested than anything. I I look at Ash, but I kind of cock my head towards Wang. I do not know what you all were doing before, and I do not need to get into adult business. However, there is something wrong, and the two of you are the more qualified um, purveyors of knowledge when it comes to this stuff. 
What do you recommend? Because I do not know if we can close it. Dr. Ash has already grabbed his jacket and he he's heading towards the elevator. Uh, behind him, the Jade Emperor is uh, manifesting. We need to go take care of it now. He we are gets, aware of that. Yes. He gets on the elevator and holds it open for the two of you. And Dr. Wang doesn't move. Yeah, I note that. I don't know. I would not assume. Are you willing to help with this, or do you have other ulterior motives? You defeated the doctor, right? Whatever form he currently was. Then why do you think getting rid of the door now would change what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Whatever corrupted the doctor and the Morrigan, whatever is responsible for stealing the divinities in the first place, creating the keys that have been missing, it's behind that door. It possibly is that door. I don't think blowing it up or fighting it or really, well, you're both teenagers, fucking with it is the way to approach this. Uh, the door is not open, but it is present. Dr. Wang uh, stands up. She was leaning on the desk. Kwame, you and I both have storyteller divinities. You know sometimes when a story gets told, you just have to roll with it. There's a difference between a story being told and one person dying and then a story being told in a massacre happening. There's a difference between a story being told and we being affected and a story being told and everyone being affected. This is the first time this thing has manifested like this and I do not think we just sit back and let the story un unfold. That is not how it works. If we have the ability to change or influence why would we sit back and let potential chaos come upon us? Kwame, I need a charisma roll from you. Or intelligence, whatever is higher for you. I'm pretty sure it's your charisma. charisma. Uh, we're looking for an eight. I literally wrote an eight. Hot damn. You notice she's a little taken aback. Not by your grand statement, by, but by something you said. He hasn't told you everything yet, has he? And she looks over to Dr. Ash, who is who slams the side of his hand into the door of the elevator. We need to go. Told me what? Told us what? We can walk and talk, but told us what? This isn't the first game. And this isn't the first time that door has been here. And what happened last time? Let me tell you a story. Don't and use my own words against me. <laughs> That's copyright. How dare she? Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> back in the cafeteria. Manny... <sighs> I need an intelligence roll. You got to give me at least a three because, oh my God, the sirens will not stop. I rolled a two. Okay. Uh, you now have the condition headache three. Cool, 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 cool. The good news is uh, 
Uh, Spiro and Kim are actually very helpful at tearing down decorations, Kim especially, though I don't think that surprises anyone. No, I'm not surprised. I'm sorry that we had to end early tonight. I hope you guys had fun while it was while it lasted. Kim lets out a dramatic sigh as she uh, leans backwards on a, a blank table. You ruined me, Manny. I was about to have a wonderful makeout session, and then you pulled me in and made me do my job. I'm, I'm sure there'll be plenty of other other opportunities for you to make out with somebody. Maybe even tonight. Ugh. It's just that we have to stay here and look over the door and make sure that nobody comes in here and messes with it. Yeah, I know. I know. It's our job. It's what we're doing. I, I've been at it longer than you. I forget sometimes. You're really good at it. I actually think that based on the fact that you were dead for a decade and stopped at a certain if we've been doing it around, around the same time. Okay. Okay. I had a year of experience and then I died and now I'm back. Okay. So at the very least, I have a year on you. And technically I should be able to rent a car, but that's neither here nor there. And in any case, I mean, I'm the only one like me and my group, from what I can tell. So, I mean, I just, I do the best that I can. Um, and uh, I don't know. It's a it's pretty cool uh, gig, keeping other people safe. I like it. Yeah, no, you're like a, you're like a superhero. That's what I said. <laughs> What I mean is, like, for you, it comes really naturally. I had to learn to play nice with others, and that's something I'm still working on. And I also had to learn to trust people, something I'm still definitely working on. You, on the other hand, you just, you got this. I can see you being like, I can see you being like that Dr. Ash when you grow up. Really? Yeah, for sure. But he's like... Like, super important. So are you. I'm, like, moderately important. Like, I, yeah. Kim flicks you on the forehead. Ow! You're, Why? Never say you're moderately important ever again. You're very important. All right, fine. <sighs> Anyways... I think that all, all, all things said, this actually turned out to be a really cool night. I could use a lot of sleep. I feel like crap. And Manny kind of looks over at the door and like kind of pauses, you know, their, their uh, dis dissembling of the decorations and kind of walks over it to it to like give it a really, really good look up and down. When you walk to the other side of the door, you see Spiro. Oh, God, why? He is vacant-eyed, and he is just staring at the door. He has no pupils, and his mouth is slack. Spiro? Uh, Manny's going to, like, reach up and, like, grab his forearm and kind of shake him a little bit. Spiro? When you shake him, he folds backwards, effectively. Uh... His knees stay locked and he just crumples like a unsupported doll. Spiro! Spiro? Body, his body twists as he pushes himself up. Um, kind of reminding... It, it's a rat. He's like a rag doll right now. Spiro? Kim, uh, Kim rushes to your side as Spiro stands up. You broke my game. What? Who are you? Spiro? Spiro is not here. What Neither is Hades. What? what did you do with them? They're in there. And 
The body of Spiro glances towards the door. What do you mean there in... I don't understand. What do you mean? You have been playing my game and you broke my game. White King? Spiro smiles and his lips curl far, far past where they should. No. Call me all father. And Manny, I need you to roll me initiative. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 tight, tight, cool, 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 cool. All right, here we go. Dex plus speed, ha -cha. that's a 10. All right, allow me to roll for our good, good uh, possessed boy real quick. And if I'm reading my stats from the last game correctly, I'm only at six health and seven AP, so. Yeah, he got a five. So at the very least, you get to go first. Cool. Yeah, no. Um, real quick. I'm not, I'm not doing so hot. No. Health-wise, so hopefully this won't be too bad. Um, I think what... Manny is immediately going to do is look over their shoulder towards Kimi and go, we've got a really big problem. Spiro's not here, but Spiro is here. I need help. Um, and then uh, Manny will manifest their sword um, and immediately kind of throw it up in front of them and like back up to give themselves a little bit of space from Spiro. Like they don't immediately want to tr like try and hurt Spiro. Like they're, they're taking very much like a defensive stance with their sword. Nice. Um, uh, if they have to, they'll kind of rake the sword up across the floor of the cafeteria, kind of like throw up some of the concrete to kind of make a wall. Not a bad idea. Um, Lenny, real quick. Are you going to Lenny? listen? Do you mean Manny? No, I mean Lenny. Oh, Lenny. Okay. Lenny. Lennox Thatcher, are you going to go with Dr. Ash or are you going to listen to Dr. Wine? Listen, I am going to follow dad. I mean, Dr. Ash, wherever he tells me to go. <laughs> I love how Kim and Lenny both did the same thing. I love that. Um, all right. Uh, in that case, Lenny, I'm also going to need you to roll initiative, but you will be coming in on the next round. Okay. D D Dexterity and speed. What do we get? We got, oh, so good. So good. Five. <laughs> All right. So with that out of the way, uh, Aki, as you are doing a defensive maneuver, I want you to go ahead and roll me your defense and your strength. We'll go ahead and, and get your... Am I spending an anima point for this? You will be spending an anima point. And one more time, what is it that you wanted me to, to roll? Strength defense. Strength defense. Okay. Strength. My defense. Oh, 2d8 is cool. Uh, seven. Okay. You have a shield of four. I rounded it up because pride. All right. Uh, the All Father is going to strike at you, Manny. Uh, you could very well kill me. It does not. Your concrete and linoleum shield comes up, and you and Kim are saved. Uh, next round, Manny, you start us off. All right. Um, Manny is going to grip their sword and like breathe deeply and and then they'll look to Kimmy and they'll be like you might want to take a deep breath too 
Um, and then I'd like to spend the anima points I need to spend in order to do my second level move. That'll be two anima move. point. Yeah, two anima points to to uh, to execute a dispensation of justice. Enemies struggle to breathe as Ma'at draws the air from the lungs. So the basically the big wings sort of manifest and like they begin to like sort of flap as if driving all of the oxygen out of the room. So they're not trying to kill Spiro. They want to try and like basically knock him out, like deprive him of air long I love enough that. that he he passes out so that I don't have to hurt Spiro and possibly suffer the wrath of someone much, much scarier than him as far as <laughs> as far as uh, Manny is concerned. Dahlia A young lady terrifying. by the name of Dahlia. Dahlia okay. is terrifying. Okay, so I spent the two animal points for that. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and make this a normal uh, magician attack. Wait, you're not a magician, you're a guardian. I'm a guardian, yeah. What's wrong this with me? My and strength I plus power, I believe. That's what I two. said. That's what I thought. Go for it. Strength plus power. That's what I said. If Less you heard anything two. else, that's your fault. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't need this. Oh my god. Okay, that that's that's a 20. <laughs> I rolled 11 and a 7. Add 2 to add 2 to 18 and that's 20. <laughs> Let me do some Well, you hit. Really. Let me do some damage. And I'm going fun. to do something. I'm going to do something. Because he has a 5 initiative and you rolled 15 over that. Go ahead and triple whatever you roll on the like next the damage. Roll. Yes. Okay, so that's eight plus five, which is, God, I can't do math. 13 uh, minus two, <laughs> which is 11 times three. 33 damage. Immediately, the air is gone, and Spiro falls like a sack of potatoes. Uh, he hits the ground with a thump, and immediately... You hear French groaning. Oh, a Spiro, like poking my head out from behind, like the concrete linoleum floor. S Spiro, is is that you? Are you okay? Uh, do you speak French? Mm, actually, Egyptian family, probably a little bit, yeah, because I believe French is one of the ling one of a language that is spoken in Egypt. Not like a lot, but enough. Okay, so roughly translated, what you hear is, oh my god, oh, oh god, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. but it's very French and kind of sexy, so at the very least, you know, it's the right guy. Okay, Kimmy, I, I think it's safe. <sighs> I need to stop doing this to the floors of the school. <laughs> Lenny, uh, you come barging in just in time to see uh, Spiro on the ground, writhing in pain, trying to get air back into his lungs. We're still in initiative, though. Ah. Uh. Uh. Something's going, something's up with the door. It did something weird to Spiro, and I sucked all the, the air out of Spiro's lungs to knock him out, and now he's back. Oh, okay. But there's something up with the door. Uh, uh, Spiro's body was possessed for, for a moment by something, and he and, and Hades uh, went through the door of oblivion, I guess into oblivion, until, you know, I, I knocked him out. But but their body, his body was possessed by um, the All-Father? Um, uh, Lenny, Lenny, I need you to roll me an intelligence roll. We're looking for a uh, four. Okay. That'll, let's see. Intelligence, how intelligent will he be? Uh, ooh, I rolled a six. Yay! You beat it. Um, when Manny says the name All Father, you remember what you saw when you looked into the door. Huh. You didn't know its name then, but somehow you knew. Okay. I'll be honest, I was confused, like, Honestly, like a little bit, because uh, I'm pretty lightheaded, and 
uh, Ninkasuke gave me some stuff to to make me not feel stuff. But um, I think, yeah, there's like a thing on the other side of the door um, that uh, it terrifies me more than anything I can ever de- possibly describe or whatever. Um, Try having your best friend's boyfriend possessed by something and having to make sure you don't hurt him or accidentally kill him. No, you, you definitely hurt me. You definitely hurt me. But but okay. did you die? Here, drink this. <laughs> but did you did die? Did you die? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a valid point. That's a valid point. <gasps> yeah. Sounds to me like you just got like the wind knocked out of you, which honestly uh, sucks, but it's like not that big of a deal or whatever. Can Kimmy, do you mind getting him some water? I think that'll help. No, I got it. <laughs> Just hands him a solo cup. That's not why. IPA? Uh, I, what? Never mind. Uh, Spiro continues to drink. Um, is it Dr. Ash in the room? Dr. Ash is right behind Lenny. He'll be joining us next round. So <laughs> okay. I turn around, I see it, and then I slap it out of Spiro's hand. I'm like, Spiro, no, that's like... That's not cool. I don't approve of that. As an RA, I I gotta. We need to talk about this. Uh, and I'm French. Manny I've been just, drinking since twelve. Uh, Man, he just goes and grabs a cup of punch or something and shoves it into Spiro's hand. Well, looks like you you smacked Spiro so hard you solved all the problems and nothing bad's happening. So I no, think we're good. there's something definitely bad happening. When I saw Spiro, he was standing in front of the door, just standing there and his eyes were completely blank and, and his jaw was hanging open and he was clearly no longer there. Like Spiro had left the building. Uh, guys, Spiro points towards the door. Mm. It's open now. Oh, oh snack. Um, I'm gonna walk over and close it. All right, give me a strength roll. Okay, we're looking for a thirteen. Thirteen. Can I assist in some way? That's like not. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. I I will also roll a strength roll, and maybe our combined rolls will give us what we need. I rolled a ten. I'm pretty strong. Here we go. I rolled a four. The two of you uh, put your shoulders into it. You are, you feel the door move. Something is fighting you, though. (sighs) I hate this door. I hate this door. I hate this door. I hate this door. I haven't been, I've been hit, haven't been hitting the gym as much as I should be. All right, uh, we're back to the top of the order. Manny, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, I guess I'm really just trying to check to make sure everybody's okay. Like, I want to kind of get like a solid vibe off this door. So, like, if Maat wants to help me with that, maybe we can like m- make some sort of assessment. Uh, see if we can reveal some truth here. Now, how much AP do you have left? Not much, fam. I mean, I got not much. I need to sleep. Manny needs to sleep. That's the long and the short of it. I believe I have four AP. Yeah, I have four AP left. Is that counting the uh, two for the oxygen and the one for the shield? Yeah, I had six left over when we came back from the last episode. So Okay, okay. So I am going to warn you because we never gotten to this point before on the show. But if you run out of AP... Not only will you not be able to use your divinity anymore, uh, all your divinity stats will be lowered by one die for the remainder of the, until you can rest. Well, we still have an hour and 10 minutes of this episode left. So I'm going to have to spend some AP points now or later. I don't know that a rest is happening between now and the end of the episode, and I can't bank on it. So what are you even talking about? I don't know. Manny, get off the fourth wall. (laughs) But it's so comfortable here. No. (laughs) But that's all the door. That's all the doorway is. It's a portal to the fourth wall. (laughs) 
Uh, yeah, I mean, Revelation of Truth is their level one ability, so it's it's one AP to kind of do what is essentially a magical perception check. So doesn't hurt. So yeah. And good news, good news before you roll. Thanks to our chat, we have unlocked rerolls. Woohoo! Thank you all very much for that. Uh, so, as we are short uh, a player today, technically two, but don't worry about it, uh, you guys have four rerolls as opposed to your usual five. Nice. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, we are six uh, subscriptions away from a very special uh, sub goal. Just throwing that out there. Should be amusing. Kind of dreading it. Not going to lie. I am not feeling excited. I'm a little bit worried. I don't know what Steven has planned for us. Or for this. Sh it's it's all terrifying. It's all bad. It's all what bad. am I rolling here? Uh, you are using your divinity, so it's going to be power and intelligence. Power and intelligence. Because I'm so smart and so powerful. I'm I'm averagely smart. Uh, four. Would you like to use a reroll? Sure. Yeah. That was a gross roll. This one's slightly better. Yeah, this is a 14. Okay. On a 14. Um, you fought some very powerful creatures that have divinity origins. Whatever is on this other side of the door is just as strong, possibly more so. Um, you can also tell this is almost fun for it. Gross. Very gross. Also a good time to remind everyone, uh, not only are we six subscriptions away from having to do our uh, sub goal for the episode, we are still doing a giveaway with Roll20, so make sure you check that out. If you do want to give away some dice, it is pride after all. Pride means dice. All right, Manny, uh, with that out of the way, it is now uh, Lenny's turn. I mean... I don't see any threats. Uh, you, The only threat right now is whatever is on the other side of this door and the door itself. Okay. And also, I misspoke. Our uh, dice are coming. Our giveaway is through Die Hard Dice, not Roll20. I don't know why yeah. I said that. I apologize. Uh, I'm going to use my new ability, which I haven't used yet, uh, which is essentially like calm emotion because, because Ninkasi can sate the heart obviously. Uh, and I'm just going to like put my hands on this closed door and just like try and project chill vibes through it, I guess. And like maybe make the all father piss right off. Okay. 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 Lenny. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead. Spend two AP and we're going to make this a charisma power roll. Oh, okay. Set that. And I'm going to be looking for a 15. Ooh, I don't even know if that's possible with my charisma and my power. It it is not, and I didn't. <laughs> oh no. Oops. Both of you, I, I need strength rolls from both of you. I'm looking for a five. I can do this. I can do this. You do not get one from me. <laughs> Would you like to use a re-roll? Would you um, use a re-roll, Lenny? You rolled you know one. I, I mean, how bad could that be? I feel like he's not in the best place to brace himself when he's just trying to project chill vibes through a door. <laughs> but Lenny. You have, you have so few hit points right now. <laughs> so, Lenny, you have a moment of, like, good vibra- You literally emit good vibrations. It's such a... Good vibration. Yes. And Manny, as someone touching the door, you feel the good vibrations. It feels nice. Uh, and both of you just hear 
low. Lenny, Manny, you manage to hold the door, but Lenny, you get hit by this door just pushing itself open. Whatever is on the other side is just ramming into it now. Uh, you take uh, ooh, five hit points. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so he's unconscious again. Roll your defense. Roll your defense. You do. Okay. Get your I get to roll defense. So, yeah, I imagine he's projecting it, thinking of good vibrations, and then it suddenly realizes just how incredibly problematic Mark Wahlberg is as a just a human being. I roll a six. You do not take any damage. Okay. But you are knocked on the floor. Lenny, are you okay? Um, yeah, my body took most of it. That's that. Um, that would hurt, wouldn't it? Where's Doctor Ash? And with that, Doctor Ash will be entering the room, and he will be going after Manny next round. Uh, man. Manny, you see as Dr. Ash just, he runs into the room. Behind him is the Jade Emperor. Uh, several large swaths of rock that form this humanoid uh, creature behind him. Um, the, the door's still cracked open a bit? Yes. Uh, Manny would like to try and stab their sword through the crack in the door at whatever it is that's coming in to try to come in through the other side. <laughs> You're going to Michael Myers this shit. I love it. Uh, okay. I'm going to spend my AP point. I only have two. Oh my god, I need to sleep. Okay, strength plus power. Strength plus power. Do, 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 do. Strength plus power plus two. <gasps> that's good too. Oh, that's a 17 plus okay. two. 19. 19 is absolutely going to hit. Cool. Ooh. Damage roll is bad, though. Uh, wait, hold on. Four. Yeah, four damage. You hold yourself against the door. You just try to jam the sword in there, and you feel like you hit something. But it doesn't seem to matter. I'll make it matter next time. Don't you worry. Dr. Ash, uh, his eyes turn green as he throws himself towards the door, throwing up a barrier uh, and rolling a crit fail. <laughs> I'm going to take it. I'm not going to spend the reroll for that. Dr. Ash throws up a barrier, and immediately whatever is on the other side of the door. You don't know if it can take a tangible form, but this is the closest thing it's done to that. A large arm made of nothing, stark white with bolts of black through it, come out, and a fist about the size of you, Lenny, comes out and collides with Dr. Ash. Oh, oh no. And the door is pressing itself further open. And Manny, you hear giggling. Oh, from where? From, from inside. Why? It sounds like several voices all laughing in unison. It's very cute. But I'm not scared. You're not getting through this door. All right, now it's Lenny's turn. All right, uh, I am going to use. I, I'm a. I'm a spend an AP point. I'm. I'm. I'm using my my ability to shoot water, but I'm shooting it out of my feet, and I'm. I'm like Iron Man pushing this door closed. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me power me strength. Cups just gonna soak Lenny. Manny, Manny is going to smell like the inside of a frat house. It's not going to be great for them. All right. So a fourteen. All right, uh, Lenny, you slam. You slam next to uh, Manny. Beer everywhere. 
uh, you press yourself into the door and you see it is hurting this hand. And then the hand pops. It sounds like an exploding balloon filled with pudding. It is a horrible noise and a horrible sensation. And you see six keys floating where the where this arm was. And they fly off, leaving holes in the ceiling. Uh, crap. I hope that was, like, a good thing. Um, um, I don't know. More keys in the world means more, more people like us. They get found. We don't know what those keys were. I don't suppose you got a good, like, and I can't ask my aunt. She's starting to get pretty tapped out. You, I, I, I can chase after them, maybe? Somebody should. Um, Kimmy, do you, do you, can you? I can try, but I'm a little tapped out too. We're still in initiative? Yes. Okay. And I can't do it, anything right now. Yes. Um, the good news is the keys manifesting were it's were the All Father's turn, so it's top of the order with Manny. So what did I miss? Uh, <laughs> hey, welcome back. <laughs> so so sorry about that. Mm. What did I miss? Uh, so the door opened and. Fist the size of Lenny, so about a six foot tall fist, came out, uh, punched Dr. Ash, uh, possibly knocking him out. Um, Spiro got possessed by something, uh, the All Father. And when, the, when Lenny managed to close the door, uh, it destroyed the arm, yay. And the arm gave birth to six keys that flew off violently. Also, I tried to solve the problem by projecting chill vibes through the door, and it did not work. No. Chill vibes. We like chill vibes. Cool. Should have gone um, that shot, boys. Uh, and then, just for my sake, what was revealed when I asked what happened? Uh, well, we haven't revealed that yet because you okay. were uh, here. valid. Here. That is valid. I Sorry, I'm gonna do that to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, CB. While you were gone, we had this big emotional scene involving Kwame. Cool. Um, and where did? The All Father come through. So the All Father is what has been behind the door of oblivion. Yep. Cool. We yep. like to hear that. The Bible said no, but we like to hear that. Cool. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to suck all of the air out of Spiro's lungs to get the All Father to go away, so that I wouldn't. I because I didn't want to accidentally kill Spiro because I'm afraid Dahlia will kill me if I hurt if I hurt Spiro. She would. That's valid. Okay, so, I mean, you put me where you need to put me, and then I will figure out what's happening. All right, Kwame. You are still in Dr. Ash's office. He did not have time for this. He basically put down, you either come with me or you don't. Uh, Lenny chose to go with him. I don't want to choose for Kwame, but would Kwame have stayed with Dr. Wang or not? At this moment, um, if something sounds like oof, I mean, we know we got we got to get the door closed anyway. He would have said, "This is the conversation we need to continue," uh, but he would have ran off. Um, yeah. Okay. So Kwame, you uh, got a little held up. There's a lot of people on the quad. The fire department's arriving soon. You come in just in time to see uh, Lenny pulling an Iron Man. Uh, Manny is drenched in uh, beer, and that you arrive just in time to see the keys fly off. And I'm going to say we're out of initiative now. Uh, what has happened? Uh, uh, the the hand turned to keys. Uh, can I? I've since I uh, I've now used the force of of water to propel myself into a door. I'm going to try to see if I can use it to chase after these keys by somewhat flying. 
Oh, okay. All right. Um, go ahead and give me a dexterity power roll. Okay. Let's see how good I do at that. Boop. 15. <laughs> Dang. Dang. I'm full Are... of, I didn't realize I made Iron Man, but apparently that's who I am today. <laughs> All right. Lenny goes flying past Kwame uh, after the keys. Kwame, you got a uh, Spiro on the ground. You got a Dr. Ash on the ground. You got Kim uh, trying to help Spiro up. And you got a very stressed out Manny. And you just saw Lenny go flying by. I don't know what's happening, but they look hurt. I'm hurt too, technically. But <laughs> um, I will go over to Dr. Ash, I guess. Because wait, wait, wait. Kim's with who? Spiro or Dr. Ash? Uh, Kim's with Spiro. Cool, yeah, I'll go to Dr. Ash and oof. Um, I'll go to Dr. Ash and try to um, um, get him up um, some way. Like, Anansi, obviously, you haven't told me everything, and something tells me this might be something you didn't know. But um, help me, please. Thank you. Um, okay, first of all, I would love to help you. Second of all, for the first time, it's not that you didn't ask, it's I don't know. Yeah, I had a, fe- I had a feeling. I am and not, not knowing things. Uh-huh. Um, and I will um um try to um could he get like the like, hurt? I'm gonna try to like use um is that what I'm gonna do? Does Dr. Ash look like they're dying or they're just knocked out? Um Dr. Ash looks like he just got punched by a six foot tall fist. He I mean I've gotten punched by things before too. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, remember when you had the fight with the bishop in the library and you got uh, riggedy wrecked? It looks like that. I surely do. I surely do. That's exactly what I was referring to. Um, yeah, I'm going to um, 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 use Anansi and just spin some web around the where he got punched and just kind of just give him like a bandage, basically, just to help him a little bit. All right, so you're going to effectively mummify him because he got punched as everything. But go right, ahead, yeah, and I mummify him. Yeah, go ahead and give me a power intelligence roll. Uh, one second, I'm gonna open the bed again. Okay, okay. Um, Kwame, open up. You come over here, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Okay. Uh, you say what was that again? Uh, intelligence power. Intelligence and power. We be. Uh, uh, nine. Okay. Uh, as it is pride, I round up all the rolls. Uh, so he will be healed for five. Great. Yes. Lenny, um, you go flying after the keys. Uh, one of them looks like it's going in a bit of a different direction than the other, so it's a little easier to catch up to. When you get close to it, you realize it doesn't look like uh, the key you had. It doesn't resemble... uh, Actually, it doesn't look like any key you've seen before. Sun Wukong's looked like a uh, weird monkey cloud thing. Uh, Ninkasi's resembled wheat and, well, alcohol. This one is just white. It is just a white key. And it is flying. And it is heading towards uh, the Galana dorms. It's heading towards uh, the top story. Well, I'm going to try and catch that golden snitch. All right. Go ahead and give me uh, intelligence. Actually, no, not intelligence. Dexterity power. Dex power. Actually, Actually, no. Dex range. I'm sorry. Dex range. Okay. Uh, see. Roll. I'll just re-roll this. So it's probably not going to be great. What was that? So that's going to be a five. It rolled a fifteen. Uh, it goes crashing through a window. You see it shatter the glass. Um, and then you hear a familiar voice going, "What the fuck?" <laughs> And then quiet on the other side of the glass of this broken window. All right, I'm I'm gonna go through that window. <laughs> Inside, you see Brendan Chuck. 
he was, you know, half in a suit, half, you know, getting ready to just kind of call it a night. It looked like he didn't really want to party. Uh, his eyes aren't his anymore. They shine a purple light that doesn't look natural. And he smiles at you. And the lips move far past where they should. Nope. Uh, I just remembered um, I was supposed to not be here. Um, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll go out the way I came. Lenny, give me a dex roll. Okay. If I must. Oop. <laughs> I got a one. Well, see it. you want the good news first or the bad news first? Uh, I want that good news first. The good news is you did exactly what you said you were going to do. You went out the way you came. Mm -hmm. The bad news is uh, you were tackled by Brendan and you're mm -hmm. both falling down about five stories. Okay. Holy okay. shit. Yeah, yeah. I can see how that could be construed as bad news. Yeah. Can I attempt to arrest our fall? Absolutely. Go ahead. Uh, how are you going to do that? Uh, with my, my my water powers. It it got me here. <laughs> it's got to get me out of this situation. Oh, boy. This is all going very all right. well. So is that just going to be regular? Yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and make it a normal uh, magician roll for you. Normal magician attack. This minus, <laughs> so that'll be a four. All right. Okay, give me a defense roll real fast. Okay. Yep. 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 That seems that seems like a thing that one should do. Uh, so that's gonna be a one. Holy I'm doing I'm doing phenomenal right now. You attempt to brace you and Brendan's fall and. You are going to take five points of damage as you fall into the quad area. Ow. Are you at zero again? I am. I need a d20 roll. Okay. Yeah, let's get... We do have re-rolls. We do have re-rolls. Let's get one of those going. Uh, a six. Use the re-roll. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oop, 16. I added okay. 10 to that. <laughs> you are not dead. You are not dead. And I'm going to go ahead and throw something out for the chat. If we could get, like, if we could get to $75, I'll give everyone a free heal, because I'm getting nervous. <laughs> but it doesn't help really, that, you know. We don't really have a healer. Heal. Yeah, we don't really, <laughs> like, we can all come up with weird different ways to heal but we don't have like a healer. <laughs> and we uh, we also didn't recover anything from, you know, the season finale. No, so no. We, we need to go we need to go to bed, but like there's still so much stuff that we need to do. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think Lenny needs to go to bed cuz I think he's pretty much unconscious now. Yeah, wow. Lenny, you are unconscious uh from the fall. You are fine. You have one hit point, but you are unconscious. Um Manny and Kwame, what are you two doing? Um, I mean, the door is the most, we got to secure the door. We've got to make sure we can somehow move it or hide it or something. Like, even if we can't destroy it, we have to figure out a way to uh, obfuscate it or protect it from, I, I think Manny's biggest concern is like the fact that everybody can see it now. That means other people can mess with something they don't understand and Manny wants yeah. to keep that from happening. So And the door opened, but it did get closed. But that does mean the or the door could potentially open again. Yep. Um so I look at Anansi and I well I look at Manny, I'm like, I don't know how far my how my abilities can go. I know that I can awaken things, but this is different. Um I can try to keep this door as closed as possible, but I don't know how effective it would be in the long run. 
Yeah, I, I also am not sure exactly what my power can accomplish here either. But does it appear that the door is like in a fixed spot? Does it look like it could be moved or? The door is a large wooden door surrounded by stones. Uh, it looks like it was built there. You is don't it built into like a wall? Is it built into the middle of the floor? Like where is middle it? Middle of the field? floor. Okay. It's direct dead center of the uh, auditorium. Yeah, we need to we need to figure something out. Um, is Doctor Ash okay? Doctor Ash is on his feet. Uh, he does not look great. Um, I could close the cafeteria for the rest of the semester, but that's just putting a bandaid on the problem. I mean, it will at least discourage a lot of traffic in here. Plus, you know, repairs to the cafeteria need to happen anyway. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. If we can set up a temporary place for food in the school, then yes, if we can effectively condemn this building. We should do it. Another option is Kwame. How much of how much reality have you altered already? <laughs> I know about your little club activity. I need to know about if you've done anything bigger. Well, you know, I wasn't captain of the basketball team. Uh, that I'm aware. I need to know if you've done bigger. Yes, I've done bigger and it resulted in things I don't want to talk about right now. What do you want done? I need you to move it into my office. I don't. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I can try, but you know it might not work and it has consequences. I'm aware. That's the only place Ash. on this campus it could be safe. Okay. Um, then, actually, call Dr. Wang. Miss Wang. I don't have her number. And she's still in your office. <sighs> yes, of course. He gets on his cell phone immediately. And both of you hear more laughter on the other side of the door. This mm -hmm. thing is creeping me out. I'm actually going to, as he calls, and I don't know if she answers immediately, when she answers, I'm going to very much Peter Parker snatch the phone from him. Um, Go ahead and give me a dexterity roll for that. Yes. I just need a six. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can I even do a six? I don't know. Okay. I, uh, that's cocked. No, that's a four. You try to grab the phone out of his hand and he... No. Would Please. you like the phone? Yes, I would like the phone. Use your words. Wang, I am not speaking to you as a teacher. I'm speaking to you as somebody who knows too much. Come down to the cafeteria now. From the door, you hear, I'm already here. She hangs up her phone. She sells a flip phone in this day and age. <laughs> Not a flip phone. Um, they, the sound they make when they clip, clap shut. It's so very, satisfying. Very satisfying it really sound. Is. It oh, really is. God. They don't, uh, I, I know they're talking about making like an iPhone that flips shut. I want it so bad. Oh my God. We're literally going backwards. <laughs> yeah. I, as, she, as she gets here, I say, I feel like I'm the adult in this situation. I don't like it. I'm only 17. Um, you're not. You're. Oh, okay. You obviously have an interest in this thing. You don't want to mess with it. However, things are coming out as we have obviously seen. And you and I are the only storytellers here. I can't affect reality without dire consequences and the bigger the reality warping the bigger the consequence if you can help me with this it lessens the possibility of sick consequences and 
He looks over at Manny. I don't know exactly how you manifest my art, but if she is truth, you can make our reality more true than it is. If the three of us can work together and get this door back to the office, it's, I, I feel like that's a better chance than me fucking it up myself. If I can help, I would love to. I don't know if that's how my art works, but no. if she can. I, we're all pulling on strings here. I think if she can help, she will. That being said, I don't have a lot of power left. <laughs> Me neither. Dr. Wang doesn't give you a verbal response. She just looks at you and nods. Okay, um, I don't think we have to hold hands, but we at least have to focus on this door. Uh, uh, Nancy, don't fail me. I'm not saying you are a failure. I'm just saying I would rather keep the other parent to this time. <clears throat> uh, of course. So, yeah, just no pressure or anything. Just throw that at him. No, but it's fine. It's fine. Mm. All right. So from both of you, I needed to spend uh, two AP. Okay, uh, that's all what that I have left. <laughs> so this is my last move for the day, and then I need to sleep. Yeah. Can I pump? I have four. Can I pump? Can I make? Can I just over overkill this? Not overkill, but overcharge this. I will let you spend a third. Uh, a I will let you spend a third AP. I will to, do that. Uh, overcharge it. I will do that. Yep. Yeah. I know this much is true of Maat. It will definitely be safer to get this thing out of here than to leave it in here. That much, at least, is true. Yeah, thank so you. If we can help make that a reality. We should definitely do our best. Yes. Then, um, and I look at Anansi, and he kind of like crawls on my head. <laughs> uh, then let's spin a story in which the door to oblivion is not here, but there. I'm not going to have you roll. Between the three of you, you are able to... Oh, well, Pamino, thank you very much for the tip. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Between the three of you, you are more than capable of transferring the reality. Uh, the world ripples. You feel the side effects. And suddenly, the two of you are not alone. The door never appeared in this room. The reality states that the door appeared in Dr. Ash's office. Kwame, you still feel drained. Manny, you still do not have access to your, uh, to Ma'at's power. And you know the world has shifted. And prom is still going on. As if nothing went wrong. Lenny, you are still unconscious in front of a dorm building. And I need a strength roll from you, Lenny. Okay. Let's see. how I'm a strong boy. Eight. Strong boy. Great. Lenny, you, your eyes start to open. Above you, the window is not broken, but you definitely fell from that story. No. Oh. Ow. <laughs> you know. Poor Lenny. Uh, I look. Is there? Am I alone? Like just like lying yeah, in the middle No one's around. Uh, not cool. <laughs> He's gonna like try and get up and then maybe think twice about it and just kind of stay here for a minute. 
I look at Manny. You, you can tell that I'm like, I mean, I know you're exhausted. Uh, you can tell that like I am this like very taxed right now. Um, and he says, I don't know if you truly, I'm sure you can comprehend, but I don't know if you currently do comprehend what happens when I retell a story. I can honestly say that I, I, I don't. I mean, all of this just, it's been a very strange day. What's important is that we're fine here, but we have to go to Dr. Ash's office. I'm a little bit worried about Lenny. Yeah, what happened to him? Where did he go? I'm gonna send out a, like a psychic thing and just be like, Quad, go on a dorm. Ow. <laughs> Oh no, we better go and find him. Yeah, I'll rush. we'll rush off towards to go find Lenny. Uh, it does not take you long before you find Lenny, uh, unless Lenny has moved, but I don't think he can. No, not really. Um, oh no, Lenny, what happened? Why, what, what uh, happened? I, I like chased after those keys. Um, and then one of them went in a room. It's actually... Right in his room, um, and then and then his eyes went all glowy, and and then and then he, he, then he, then he tackled me out the window, and then I, I then I end up here. You That's the fell, whole story. You fell from Brendan's window. Yeah, he's on the Is fifth it, floor. That's like. How are you still high. alive? Um, I I'll take care of my boy. Okay, 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 okay. Can you like heal your boy? Like properly heal him? Do you have any any liquids that won't inebriate him? You're asking a lot of me. I'll be honest, I thought I was hurt before this. I don't think I've ever experienced true pain before this. Lenny. Well, we, we were able to move the door. I'm gonna go over and like attempt to like just like cradle Lenny and pick him up. Give me a strength roll, Kwame. I am 11. Noise. You absolutely do. Yeah, Manny is strong but small. Lenny is very tall. This would not work. Uh, come on. We have to go and see Dr. Ash. Um, a lot has changed. Um, you, and I'm assuming if you said you fell through the fifth floor window, and as you can see, it is not broken. Reality has been shifted over here as well. Mm. Cool. Yep. Hopefully Dr. Ash will have something that will make us all feel a little bit better. Well, that's not what I fear. The doors were opening in the cafeteria. Oh. Now they're in his office. You I fear something different. <laughs> um. So, I mean, I start walking towards with Lenny. I start walking towards Dr. Ash's office. Yeah. Manny By the way, chat, bad. we're $10 away from a full heal and six subscri subscribers away from a very fun confessional. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Well, you know, uh, at least that full heal will be nice across the board. <laughs> we're, we're, we're looking real rough, fam. Real and great. it's Pride Month, so... And I no support. longer have access to any of my, so like my AP is like my range and the power and my defense and speed are all knocked down a, a die. Uh, like it's really, to, I missed that too. Yeah. yeah no, if, if, you, if you, yeah, if you, um, if you spent burn all of your AP, uh, any of your AP skills, like any of the die for your AP checks, um, go down a dice value. So my range, my power, my de uh, defense and speed yep. are all docked now until I get Oof. some sleep. It doesn't 
it's not a huge event to get to Dr. Ash's office. And when you do, the door is there, just like you tried, Kwame. Just, you succeeded. Dr. Wang is not there, but Dr. Ash is. Um, Kim is already there. Spiro has joined him. Uh, Nick, your silent little crony, has joined him as well. Um, uh, good. I'm glad you're here. Come, come in. Take a seat. Yep. Uh, he will walk in and place Lenny down, and then he will basically like fall on the wall and then just scoot down the wall. <laughs> You've had a very, very long day, Dr. Ash. You'll excuse us if we just want to sit down and be quiet for a second. Please do. You've done more than I could have ever asked and more than anyone should have asked. How's the door? It's quiet. Reality altering doesn't seem to change the door. Similar to how when Kwame uses his abilities, we all remain cognizant of what happens. Hear any creepy Good. laughter? Not yet. Wait, are you saying Brennan has a key? Uh, it like if it... flew at him, but then he fell with me, and then he wasn't there anymore. But I my powers up. don't affect anyone with divinities. So if he had a key before, then he has a divinity. Hot. Now. I don't, it didn't seem like a divinity that, it, you know how, like, with us, you know, they're, like, these people that are, like, with us in, like, the back of our mind and, like, talk with us? That wasn't it. It was something controlling him. Like, like you know how crows are, like, gods that are controlled, but this was, like, a person crow. A pro. Yeah. No, I don't like that. Okay. It's a called scarecrow. a sin. A sin? Dr. Ash takes a deep breath. <sighs> Divinity works with a person. It has its own consciousness, but it works with you. Even Pongu with Nick. Nick does have a say in what happens. And it divinity is on your side. A sin has no purpose or an identity, but it needs a human in order to manifest. Are we talking like seven deadly sins or like just, is that just a good terminology for it? He gets a book off the shelf. <sighs> well, back in the 1500s, uh, they counted about 54 of these. He hands, he puts the book on the desk and pushes it towards you, Kwame. Well, actually, Kwame's on the floor, so he just kind of pushes it towards uh, Kim, who's sitting at the desk. She leans over and looks, and it is a collection of Goetic demonology text. Mm. Okay, we got Gap, Phoenix, Oribus, Pyman. Dad, this is stupid. There were six keys. Dr. Ash looks over at Manny. Then that means there are six sins out there. Do does do each sin does each sin have like its own personality or or type or is it comparable to like the Catholic interpretation of sins? Each sin has its own way of causing harm. They have their own personality in that regard, but oh, it's it's, thro it's throwing people out a window a sin. 
I feel like if they didn't ask to be thrown out of the window and they don't have a parachute, then yes. That's not necessarily a sin. It's a it's a crime. It's attempted murder, which in a lot well, of religions is essentially is a, sin. a sin. Yeah. <sighs> I have a question. And I'm sorry, if Steven, if this if this breaks the game, do not answer. But this is where Kwame's head went. <laughs> um, six sins came out. If you don't include Big Boss, um, just looking at actually, I'm going to like hold my hand out towards Kim to get the book. Kim, without without leaving her chair, hands it over to you. Great. <laughs> so, long arm people brigade um and like he starts flipping through it and noting that it's a, a demonology uh text there are typically seven princes of hell this is six but technically one is like you know big guy is this this we're dealing with or is this just six random entities if we if we, if we know that the gods exist technically Demonic forces are like a Christian based Judeo Christian god. Well, I mean, there, was, there was the All Father who could, I guess, technically be the seventh. Also, but I'm thinking of, like Lucifer, yeah, Lucifer I know. and the other princes. But a, lot of, I, a lot of Christian and Judeo Christian mythology is just older stories that they repurposed from other things. I don't believe we're dealing with the seven deadly sins. I do believe the Allfather wanted to keep a game going with you. So he picked six that would be entertaining for him. And thanks to the chat, uh, Dr. Ash will know the exact six ones, so you guys might want to write these down. Oh, hey, yeah, hold Thank on, you, hold on now, hold on now. Uh, Our note takers also, I did say if we hit $75 in tips, we would do this, so uh, Dr. Ash is going to hand all of you tea as he explains. One second, oh. don't explain nothing yet. I Let us drink this tea. What kind of tea is it, as I look for this? I have too many. Um, it is an uh, incredibly bitter green tea. Like, there's no honey Ooh, in it. Yummy. It, it is like licking green grass. Green tea is not supposed to have honey in it. I'm aware, yeah, but it's sometimes it tastes like grass. Unless it's for a dessert. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. Page just... break. Page break. Okay. Uh, season three. That okay. being said, that just made Six me want matcha sins. ice cream really bad. Oh, me too. That sounds delicious. Summer is Ooh. my one of my favorite summer treats as much ice cream. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I guess I had to get that ready. <sighs> All right, tell us them damn names. Volok. Ooh, don't like that. Furfur. -fur. Cool. Phoenix. Or Phoenix. Orobus and Paimon. That's only five. Valak for Oh, and Gap with two A's. Gap. Moloch, Furfur, Phoenix, Orobus, Paimon, Gap. Okay. Okay, well, at least it's not, you know, Beelzebub and Leviathan and, you know, those folk, Mammon, that would have been a problem. Um, as you drink the tea given to you, uh, you feel yourselves rejuvenated. Go ahead and give yourself, uh, you are now at half your max HP and half your max AP. Now, are, are we just going up to half or are we gaining half? You're going up to half your below then, otherwise go to full. But the way you guys were all talking and dying, I assumed it was all like, I have two. 
I mean, I, mean, I, I was five, down. I was but, down to okay, six so HP, and, and I will no AP at all. So and then I'll go it was. Five. It wasn't doing. I wasn't doing great. Six. There we go. Hey, that's up. Thank you. Thank you very much. How does how does Dahlia have thirty AP? Can I have from, thirty AP? It's from that special. Um, oh yeah. Item that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. remember. Yes. Uh, a member of our Patreon created that, and I included it in the campaign. So. Heck yeah. Yes. And thanks to our chat, as you all heal up and you're told of what sins may come, the chat has unlocked embarrassing avatar confessions. They don't have to be embarrassing, but... I want to know what could possibly be embarrassing about anything you would confess about <clears throat> avatar. I have, I have, I can start. I can start completely. Please, please start, CB. I have never finished any, either, either of the two seasons. Like either I know series, I've, like I, either either series? Season. I, I've, I've, I've watched a lot of episodes, but I've technically not sat down through an entire season of either of them. But it's so good. I'm aware. Ah. I am. A, I'm looking forward to you in uh, at some point in your life enjoying them when you have the desire and the the, the want to do that. Absolutely. All right. I love both series. I've watched them through at least twice. Um, the first Avatar, the last and Airbender, especially in the first two seasons, has a lot of filler episodes that I just skip. I skip as much as as much as it's fun. You can't skip them. As much as fun as it is, the secret tunnel episode, <gasps> I skip it every time. Because I don't care. It's but a great song. song. The song is great. The episode is boring because nothing happens. It is a I filler feel... episode. Oh! What episode is I this? mean, it's Sorry? one of my favorite Secret filler tunnel. episodes ever created for any animated I will show say ever done. my favorite episode is a filler episode, Tales of Ba Sing Se. But, yeah. All right. Aki? Uh... I was not a huge fan of Korra and Asami getting together at the end of, like, to, to start off, I was actually pretty upset about it because I really wanted Korra, like, I really wanted, you know, the the ending with the, 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 um, the fem like, the first female-led, like, animated series of that kind to just be like, because because her, her relate like her journey had been so defined by the relationships that she had been in up until that point, it was one of those things where I was like, It'd be really cool to see like an av like an avatar be like, you know what? I'm good. I got this. I'm solid. I don't need to be in a relationship right now. Like, I mean, I obviously changed my mind after some time, but like, I I was kind of like in my feelings about it. Like for the first like few months after it happened, I was like, dang it! It's not that I don't like them together. It's just okay. Sure. I like, yeah, I agree. I liked the idea that Cora was was just going to be a person and have a, a cool friendship with somebody and not be defined by a relationship. Yeah. And like, while I am glad because they were the first relationship of their kind to ever like happen, like on a big, you know, like really well-known series. And I still, I celebrate that all day, every day. I was just also like, okay, sure. <laughs> cool. So that's kind of my embarrassing confession is that I was not an immediate fan of Korra and Asami getting together. Well, all right. I guess I'll give mine now. I fucking hate the beach episode. Oh, I in, mean. In season three, the beach episode, the one where they're desperately trying to give my and what's her name like some character and then they have like that weird scene yeah. where with, with uh with azula and uh i i, I just hate it i hate all it's a of skippable it. episode that's it's not just skippable it is a desperate attempt to make these characters have any level of personality up or likability or likability i don't even like season three that much in general but that episode just ah. I feel like you should tell us how you really feel <sighs> right also ember island i really want to cosplay ember island uh iro how's it shaking hot man <laughs> choose betrayal it's more fun all right 
Thank you very much for that chat. I look forward to being flamed on TikTok, which if I've, I've been on there long enough, I know it's mostly there for 17 year olds to call me old. All right, so. TikTok has other uses. It's also for, for white people to have incredibly uh, lukewarm takes on politics. You're not wrong. As the three of you drink your tea, joined by your other uh, divinity users, uh, Dr. Ash gives some more in-depth explanation on sins or scarecrows, as Kwame called them, which is a better name, and that's what I'm going to be using now because I love that. You're welcome. Thank you, CB. It needs an anchor. It's effectively like being possessed. The person will not know they have this, but they will be used, they will be harmed, and they will harm others until it is removed. Removing it will require you to possibly hurt the person who it is possessing. But if you can weaken them, the, the scarecrow might try to flee, and that can give you an opportunity to, well, capture and destroy it. The problem is you, apart from Brendan, you don't know where the other five are. Oh, well, but at least we know where one is. Well, where one was, we can trace that. I think that if we can figure out where the, uh, if we can find Brendan and take the first one, we can use the first key as possibly some kind of homing beacon for the others or use it to track the others down. There's probably some way to channel the magic in it to, to help us find the other ones. So we just have to find Brendan. It shouldn't be too hard, right? Um, I don't know if it's going to be easy, but if we can at least go to his room and scry or figure it out. I mean, after, obviously, we lay down. Um, that would be useful to, as a starting point to find him. Yeah, I think sleep. Sleep first. Sleep. Lots of sleep. All night. Sleep. Sleep, please. I'd, sleep. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd really appreciate a, like, like a nap before I get thrown out a window again. Um, if you would like, you could all skip classes tomorrow. I will give you an excuse. I have a really big test tomorrow. I don't know what kind of teacher gives a test after prom night, but I have a test tomorrow. Um, Emancipation. Yes. You can take that test another day. Okay. I didn't study very much, so probably a good idea. You wanted to take a test and you didn't study? I don't study. You do. And even I know I'm not taking a test. I don't have a test tomorrow, but. Oh, okay. I will. I will sleep. I will heavily. I will do a heavy sleep. You guys want to, like, sleep over tonight? Kim stands up, loosening her tie. Oh, hell yes. I am not sleeping alone tonight. You can throw a bunch of sleeping bags on the floor and, like, just pass out. Oh, no. I'm not sleeping on a sleeping bag. I will make sure that I am comfortable <laughs> after after prom. I, I mean, I am happy that you know I got my crown, whatever. It doesn't even feel like I actually am prom king. It feels like well, you I'm are. Just... You got voted for it. No... Like, yeah, I know that like, you had to do some things to get that, but like, I think you would have won anyway. I don't. Um, I actually, but... I was able to read. Actually, Stephen, I actually would have been part of like actually counting up the votes for that, wouldn't I? Yes. So I would know how big that margin is. Like, if we took out like the basketball team, would he still have won? Probably not. He didn't really okay. campaign. He kind of just. I didn't campaign. Yeah. 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 
All right. Well, Vanny wouldn't lie to him about it. Be like, oh, actually, wait, let me do some quick math. <laughs> Anyone else smell smoke? Yeah, it would have been, it would have been like really by the skin of your teeth, but yeah, you wouldn't have won. And like, nobody voted for you, Lenny. I mean, some people voted for you, but like, not a lot of people, but I also know you didn't try. To be fair, I don't really consider myself to be in the popular ilk, though. I guess technically now I am ish. Um, I floated where I wanted to float, and I didn't care what people said. Or didn't yes, say. and that is why you are. That is why you do not care if you join the school safety squad. That's well, no. Um, Spiro uh, you... apparently Spiro... he draws the line there. All right, all right. Spiro throws an arm around Kwame and an arm around Lenny. So sleep over at Kwame's place so he can have a bed? No, we're sleeping at Manny's place. We just said wow. that. Right. You can sleep right. on my bed, Kwame. No, you sleep on your bed. I will make a bed. I will make a bigger bed if Spiro and Lenny want to join. I mean, my bed's big enough for all of you. I just want to sleep on a sleeping bag for some reason. I want to pretend like I'm camping. I can, kind of we can... Nice. Dahlia can, can... You know, Dahlia has her new abilities. She can make it dark. We can make some stars in the sky in your room. Oh, sounds we nice. Can, yeah, let's let's just not deal with being a Conscious. divine person. Let's just go to bed. Let's do it. Let's go. Thank you, Dr. Ash. The tea was really good. Also, yes, definitely himbo cuddle pile. <laughs> <laughs> The sack of literally all three of them Lambos. <laughs> Somewhere out on the campus, Dahlia just had a nosebleed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so did Nanako, but we'll talk about her later. <laughs> oh, Nanako, yeah. Oh, she was, no! She was not in today's episode. And no! no. Even just 1,000% said what he needed it, to say on that one. This is going to turn in, like, I, oh, no. I already, I already know exactly what's happening. I, oh, Letty. Oh, Letty. I hope you have a guitar ready. With that, all of you pile into Manny's room. You alter reality as you need to. You create it out of spider silk or beer. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are going to do, but you all pile in there and have flowery a bowers. Flowery bowers, yes. And you have a nice, a nice restful sleep that you have all earned. And you should enjoy it because it's about to get very bumpy for all of you. <laughs> And before we go, we do have a school announcement. Yeah. Bum 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 bum. I didn't. I didn't open that yet. Hold on. I. Oh, I wasn't ready. You. I wasn't ready. Uh, good. Good evening, uh, students of. Uh... The, the academy. I hope everyone's having a good time and that prom is going off without a hitch. Let me get uh, some of these. Uh, we got some announcements. Uh, I got to pull all these up uh, right here. <laughs> all right, we got some announcements. Uh, everyone, this one comes from Five Foot Latina. It says a uh, huge thanks to uh, the prom committee for the school safety and the school safety squad for making that truly memorable prom. There's a lot of ellipses in that, and I don't understand why, but that's how it is. Uh, you know, prom's a magical time. Don't do anything you regret, but maybe do a thing or two you regret. What? I can say that I'm not telling. Okay, well. I, I told you. you. No, 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 no. <laughs> they cut me off anyway. Enjoy the rest of prom. <laughs> Thank you very much to Five Foot Latina for that one. Uh, that is the screen name. Do not write me letters. And that is where our season premiere of uh, New Pantheon Academia is going to end. But don't go away. We still have to. I got to tell you what's coming up next. And we have a drawing to do. So 
My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit. Until I get a cease and desist, it's going to stay that way. Um, you can also find some of my published work on Drive Through RPG. The Lost Entitlements, Volume 1 and Volume 2, are both available now. Uh, I also have some fun things in the works, so uh, check that out. Now, Aki, where can they find you? Oh, geez. Oh, gosh, you can find me in so many places. Hi, I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. My entire Twitch streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. And uh, tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow in the afternoon, you can watch me playing Candlekeep Mysteries uh, on Roll20 Presents over on the D&D channel at 1 p.m. PT. And then following that, you can catch me at 6.30 PT over at Q Times playing Clear Skies, the Star Trek Adventures RPG. And we're back to being in person. So uh, it's wild to be That's in a studio awesome. again. Yeah. And then, of course, if you check me out on Tuesday for my very brand new show that I am doing with Indicade, co-hosted by my wonderful friend and comic book writer extraordinaire Colin Kelly, uh, where we play a bunch of games DM'd by the designers themselves called RP Game Changers at two, uh, 3 p.m. PT over on the Indicade Twitch channel. Um, and so much more. Of course, you can see me um, doing the thing here on Saving Girls on Wednesdays for All Games No Masters, the only show on the Twitch internet that is playing GM list uh, games, at least as far as I know. Um, but yeah. And I was going to plug that one, but good. Yeah, hold tight, hold tight. Uh, we're we're gonna have more of another certain thing that CB and I do together uh, coming up in the future, but I'll let him talk about that. Why, whatever could it be? Uh, all right, mostly Eric. Where can they mostly find you? Well, mostly they can find me on mostly Eric on all the social media platforms, including Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram, and all of that stuff. Uh, where where I, where I post and stream and and all of that, and they can catch me tonight, uh, seven thirty Pacific Standard Time on Twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley for uh, my board gaming show, The Board and Barrel, which is also we're back in 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 real life person playing board games hey. uh, and stuff. So that's a lot of fun. That's Sundays at seven thirty. So nature is healing. And finally, Critical Bard, where can they find you barding about? Hello, yes, <clears throat> you find me everywhere at. Critical Bard, uh, including Twitch, though I will not, not be streaming tomorrow or Monday because internet issues. Yay. Yeah. Uh, Monday, tomorrow, <clears throat> Tuesday? It's tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And Tuesday. Sunday, tomorrow and Tuesday. Oh, wow. I thought today was Saturday. <laughs> Holy heck. Anywho, you're correct. Anywho. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, you can see me tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, on Realmsmith for our uh, Curse of Strahd campaign, Into the Mist, uh, for our season finale, actually, of Into the Mist. Uh, our four-hour season finale is going to be great, where I play nah against the Seder uh, Dreams Druid. Uh, you can also find me on Fridays at uh, Rock Punch ATL for Tampo, which is a D&D um, uh, 5e campaign uh, using the Islands of Sina Una campaign setting, which is a campaign setting inspired by pre-colonial Filipino culture. Uh, and we're Love part that. and two of the creators are, are the DM and a player of the uh, show. So check that out. That's always a lot of fun. Let's get Wild Mount, a show I do with Aki. will be coming back at some point in July. We're still finalizing some things. So just keep a lookout on my channel for that. Um, I am a part of uh, Twitch Pride this year. Um, I'm one of the faces of Twitch Pride. And uh, I'm going to announce this technically for the first time on stream tomorrow, starting tomorrow through the 20th. If you happen to be in New York City, you will see me on a billboard. Um, Get out of here. Or awesome. take your meds, Aki. Okay, yes, take your you. <laughs> yeah, you will see me on a billboard for Twitch Pride. Uh, actually repping Dungeons and Dragons because we're lighting up dungeons and we're keeping it prideful oh, wherever we go. Tall. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Other things are happening, but I can't really talk about them right now. So again, just check out my socials. That's what we do. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for being here for a season premiere. Uh, now we just have give away, uh, give away, give, give away. So give shout away. out to uh, R.I.P. Mika, who does lots of things at R.I.P. Yeah, Mika. We miss Twitch. you. We can't yes, we see miss you next them. Week. We will see them. Yes, they will be here next week. It shall be fun. 
Uh, or else. So, or else. <laughs> All right, Mr. Bossman, who won the Die Hard Dice giveaway? Drum roll, please. Yeah, Looks like it was it Amusing was Kate. Kate. Amusing Kate! Mazel tov! Congrats! Woo, woo, woo. Uh, make I sure think... you... Hmm? No, never mind. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cat, All right. I guess... You Too know, many yeah, that's what I was directly. about to say. I was like, I think it's Amusing Cat, but okay. Woo, woo! Yes. Yeah! I, I literally put fan. out four other fans until I got this one. I was like, wrong fan! Wrong fan! All fans are good fans. Uh... Like the that's people watching and listening to us. It, well, actually, that's true. If you're not a decent person, you're not a good fan. You're not a no, fan. That, that's true. But our fans are great, and we want to thank all of them for tuning in today. And if you're watching or listening to us later, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe, like, feed the algorithm. We really do appreciate it. You keep this going for us. Uh, we will be back. Same bat time, same bat channel. My name's Stephen Pope. This has been Saving Throw, and I'll see you next week. Bye!